On this edition of Purple Pride, we'll take a look at fashion brought to the piney woods of East Texas by one of SFA's newest student organizations, Fashion and Motion Society, better known as FNM. Hello and welcome to today's edition of Purple Pride. I'm your host, Toby B, and today we'll take a look at Fashion in Motion, the new student organization that is definitely blazing trails on campus. We have in the studio with us today the president of FNM, Ashley Small. Hello. Thank you, Ashley, for joining us today. Thank you for having me. Now, do you mind us asking, what is FNM? Well, FNM actually stands for Fashion in Motion. It's an organization here on campus for people who have a passion for fashion or want to be in the fashion industry. This is a way that they can get their name out here while in school. Wow, and uh, do you mind me asking, who are the founders of this FNM? I would have to say the founder for FNM would have to be Raphael Marcel. I mean, he started by just putting on different fashion shows around campus, but then it came to a point where he realized that it needed to be a student organization where other people can actually be involved. They named it Mode, but then just recently we changed the name to FNM because the name Mode was already taken. Okay understandable and is this the same organization as the Fashion Merchandise Society? No it is not the same organization. The Fashion Merchandising Club they touch more on the business aspect of fashion merchandising like the accounting and retail behind the scenes but when it comes to fashion in motion we touch more on the artistic forms like the hair, the makeup, the clothes, okay. the design, different things like that. And what are the divisions of your organization? Mm, the divisions would have to be um, style and design, we have the models, we have hair and makeup, and we also have tech. Okay, so let's go into the various sectors of your organization. Um, you mind going into details? Yes, um, the style and design team, that's for anybody who can style clothes. Maybe you don't design, maybe you don't sketch, but you like to put different pieces together and put them on an individual. That would be your aspect of the organization. Then we have the models. I mean, mm. that's basically self-explanatory. If anybody needs to do a photo shoot or we need models to walk in the shows, in the productions, we have the models. And then we have hair and makeup. That's pretty much just people who do hair and makeup. And last but not least, we have the tech, and I think they're probably one of the most important mm. in the show because we need people to pick out the music. We need people to run the lights, to do the spotlights and different things like that. Okay, that's very interesting. And um, what is it that your organization do? Well, we actually, we do community service around campus. We have our soiree series and then we have our fashion shows. Oh, uh, I got caught up on the soiree part. So let's go into details. For some of us who don't know, what is a soiree? Well, a soiree is actually kind of like a sophisticated social party. It's where you can dress up real nice, get your hair done, come socialize and network with friends. Oh, okay. and, and it's better than going out to the club where you put on your nice dress and you sweat out oh. and you don't look cute when you come home. <laughs> At a soiree series, you get to come back looking really nice just the way you came. Okay, and what goes on at these soirees? Well, actually, we serve drinks and hors d'oeuvres, and oh then we have live mannequins for stylists who actually want to get their work out there. We have live mannequins for them, and sometimes we do classes. Like, we'll do a little session where we'll do a haircut. Maybe you wanted a certain look. We'll teach you how to cut, how to trim, how to get that done. And also with makeup, maybe you don't know how to get the shadows and the contouring on your face. Mm. So we show you how to get that certain look for you to go out and be able to do at home. The Soiree series is actually a way for people to get their name out there. There's always pictures being taken at these events. Okay. So if you're trying to build a portfolio or anything like that, that's a great way for you to get your name out. Okay, and uh, for some of us who are interested, are these Soirees exclusive or can all of us come? They are pretty exclusive. I mean, we do have the two 
additional invite rule. Okay. If you're a part of the organization, you can invite two additional people. But for the most part, we try to keep it exclusive because we don't want it too wild. We don't want it crazy. We want it to be a nice social where you can network with your friends. That sounds very fun. And do you mind telling me about um, your community service outreach projects that your organization does? Uh, yes. The shows in itself, I would have to say, is a community service project because we actually reach out to people here on campus. But then we do different sessions like how to wear, what to wear. I mean, some people, if some people are too small and they wear clothes way too big to hide their shape, or maybe you have people that are of larger figure mm -hmm. and they wear clothes too small. We kind of try to teach you how to wear clothes to fit your figure and accentuate your body. We try to make people feel good inside and out. I mean, even with the hair and the makeup, we teach people how to contour their face, maybe how to make themselves feel good to like what they see in the mirror. Mm. It's nice to know that you have our own little personal stylist on campus. Yeah, definitely. So do you mind me asking, what is your organization's biggest event? I would have to say the biggest event we do would have to be the fashion shows. Wow. And for all of y'all who don't know what kind of fashion shows FNM produce, take a look at this clip. Oh, that looks amazing, but it looks like a lot of hard work. It really is. Typically, how long does it take to plan these kind of shows? Gosh, it takes from about 8 to 12 weeks because there's so much that goes into actually planning and producing a show. So break it down to simplest terms. Um, how does the planning go? It's like what goes on in it? I mean, first of all, you have to create a concept. We have to know exactly what we're trying to do, who we're trying to reach, who mm. our audience is going to be. And then when you figure that out, it's all about the models. I mean, <clears throat> In picking models, it is so hard because we want people of different sizes, different creeds, different looks. And a lot of times we get people coming in that look the same or maybe they have the same walk. And we can't put the same people on stage. And then it gets really hard when we're trying to 